Yo, what's up guys, it's Uncle Kobe, and today I have some tips and tricks for you, uh, mostly tips, talking about the score streaks you should use in Black Ops 2, and I know that the game is not out yet, however, I think it is something that you guys would want to know about going into your first game. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 100 killer drone score streak, and why I think it is already underrated, and why it will be a very good choice in a couple weeks. So if you watched one of my past videos, you know you're only going to have one score streak loadout, so unlike in Modern Warfare 3, you aren't going to be able to have one class with anti-air support score streaks, and one that with maybe kill heavy streaks, so you have to make sure that the streaks you do choose to equip will help you no matter the situation and that's where the hunter killer drone comes into play you unlock it at 400 points so basically four kills unless you do some objective work and maybe get a couple assists then you can even get it faster than that but what makes the score streak so good is its ability to be used offensively and defensively so first thing this thing can basically 100% guarantee that you get a kill with it every single time you use it for two reasons one, you have the ability to just throw it in the air and it is a seeker drone so it will just go and kill the nearest enemy. As seen in these clips you can literally just let that bastard fly and it'll swoop down and get you a kill. Not only that, but how long it's able to stay in the air before being shot down. As seen here, it is in the air for a whole 10 seconds before coming down to kill an enemy. Which makes me think that the drone is actually fairly smart and won't just crash into a wall nearby because the player is on the other side of it. Another possible concern is, well how fast is it and will it be easy to shoot down? But let me tell you, this thing is fast. Here the enemy is a good ways away and the drone takes him out within a second of being released. So just from these two reasons alone, this thing is obviously a beast. But now let's say you're playing an objective game type, and at that moment getting a kill won't be as useful as taking out an enemy UAV. Well the hunter killer drone can do that as well. As seen here, you just aim towards the general area of the UAV and it goes and takes it out. And this is obviously a lot easier and faster than sitting there trying to hit it with your gun. Also you get more points for taking out a UAV rather than getting a kill with it. So just another example of Turek wanting you to play the objective and work as a team. The final reason why I think it's a very liable pick for your loadout is that amount of points that you get it at. Like I said before, it only takes 400 points to get, which considering it's only 25 more than a UAV and 75 less than a counter UAV, it is fairly easy to get. So when picking your score streak loadouts, take into consideration picking the ones that will be useful in more than one way. Again, you only get one loadout, so you gotta make sure it's good. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will make more of these breakdowns before the game comes out if you guys want it uh, with the likes and the comments. So if you just want them, be sure to tell me. And uh, lastly, I have gotten several messages asking and wondering where the full kill confirmed gameplay is. And like I said before, I had to take it down, but what I can do is upload it on some other channel I'll make and give you guys the link to it so you guys can go watch it if you missed it or if you just want to see it again. So just let me know if you guys want it and I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. And the cool thing is that it'll be enlisted, so only you guys get to see it, which is pretty awesome. You know, only our tiny little channel will have access to it. So you guys, thank you you guys so much for watching remember to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video this was uncle kobe i'll talk to you guys later peace